Hi, I'm Klaus from Gaffa Media and I'm sitting here with a Kessler Crane Second Shooter Plus. It's an update to the original Second Shooter. If you're not familiar with what the Second Shooter is, you can go to the Kessler Crane website where there are a lot of videos showing you how to use it and what it can do for your videography and still photography. In short, it's a motion capture device. That means that it can help you do time lapses. You can also use it with your video where it automates your video movements. I use it on all our uh, interviews where we put our second camera on, on this device which then slowly pans the camera from left to right. So we have a nice second angle to cut into in our editing. What has changed from the second shooter to the second shooter plus is that there has been an upgrade on the motors so it can handle heavier cameras. There has also been an update to the controller and that means that now we have a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot in the controller and that opens up to a whole new world of possibilities with the second shooter. In the past you had three keyframes that you could program and that's also what you can program from the controller. If you want to use more than three keyframes, what you do is that you connect the controller and your computer wireless through the built-in hotspot. And that means that now you have unlimited keyframes. You can do very, very advanced uh, movements with your cameras, completely programmed, and you can repeat the motion over and over again with the exact same camera positions. Until now, this has only been possible with much more expensive uh, systems. But now with a fairly accessible system like the second shooter, that's possible. If you already today own a second shooter, you can get some of the new functionality, especially the Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, by just updating the controller uh, and then use it with your existing second shooter. To have the benefit of stronger motor, you of course need to upgrade that part as well. One of the benefits of wireless connectivity, besides having unlimited keyframes, is also that you can actually control the second shooter now from your computer. So if you have the second shooter mounted in a place where it's not really accessible for you by hand, maybe at the top of a Kessler crane or somewhere else, you can go into your computer and you can just move it back and forth without having to actually touch the controller. That means that besides having unlimited keyframes, which actually also opens up to unlimited possibilities, you're also having a wireless control of your camera. We're looking forward to show you how we use it uh, on our future productions in small behind-the-scenes videos. Mm -hmm.